Um, you know how capacitor works? You use two metal plates, yeah. and they kind of store electrical charge between them. Well, there's another way to store energy. Um, you have a giant rotating disk. Hey, look behind you. Something that will rotate. Okay. That's circular. So you have a big rotating disk, right? You spin it. You can store a lot of energy in this, in this disk, especially if it's rotating at like 20,000 RPM. If you have why magnets, uh, 20,000 RPM. But why can you store a lot of Okay. Energy? So um, feel this. And try to stop with your hand on the side. Wait, like. See that? Yeah. Did your hand warm up a little bit? No, but I can see how it works. Yeah. So there's a lot of energy needed to stop this. Right. And this is just rotating at maybe 20, 30 RPM. Well, wait, so, wouldn't the energy required to stop it be the same as the energy required to start it? Exactly. However, okay, so let's say we get it rotating at 20,000 RPM, right? It can store a whole crap load of energy. Um, we put magnets around it. Right. Um, you need the new magnets, and you have a coil, let's say at 10, 12 turns, and you have it right out here, get up to speed, and you bring it over, there's this changing magnetic field inside the coil. That induces a current um, which slows down the disk, but at the same time extracts energy out of it in the form of electricity. Mm. Um, and if you set it up right, you can get something like 20,000 amperes. And it's AC, but it's, you get a lot of energy out of it from just this big disk. So what Michael wants to do is take hard drives, which spin incredibly fast, and because you can magnetize them, he wants to magnetize some parts of it and have these coils that are going to come in when he wants to fire it and extract his energy out of the compensator. Um, what are we going to use to hold the energy? So the energy that you extract out of it goes directly to the rails, no. just a direct connection. To where? To, to the rails. To, the rails. Whatever. <laughs> to, whatever, you're, to whatever you're firing, like the, the capacitors dump straight into the rails. Right. This would go straight into the rails. Oh. It wouldn't store, it wouldn't be a charging mechanism. So we don't like a continually firing. No, no, um, kind of. You have to, you have to spin them up. You have to spin them up, and you have to turn off the motors because otherwise they'll probably burn them out. Because there's so much resistance. I'm all still spinning. Exactly. No, right into the rail. Spinning in two different directions doesn't that create a domain wall? That's why I'm saying so it wouldn't be instantaneous. It would take a little while. It would take a little while to charge up, but once you put those coils next to the Next to the compensators, bang, you got a bunch of energy. And there'll be a lot of energy coming faster. Well, yeah, it's, 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 it's going to go up and it's going to come, come down as it slows down. But what I'm saying is the energy is going to keep happening. Yes. Yeah. So but as long as I'm saying, saying it would be really going to be continually well, firing. It's because if you have electricity on it for like a good 10 seconds. Well, yeah, so. that's, that's true. The thing is, it won't extract energy out of it unless the energy has somewhere to go. So if the grails, there's no projectile in there, um, the energy is still going to be in here, even though there's a coil over. So there's nowhere to go. It's going to slow down until projectiles out of the barrel, and it's going to keep that speed until you go faster again. Right, but the electricity is not going to keep flowing. Yeah, it's going to turn the stack up and slow down. Well, well, yeah, because they shoot it. Yeah, so what you can do... And one to the back while one is in the front. Right? What Drew suggested is um, if you have segmented rails, right? You have a rail gun with like three rails in the series. You have two different compensators. Shoot one projectile, and you can shoot another one directly after it. So that I suppose they would. Yeah. yeah. So you can make a railgun that's rapid fire, if not faster. Um, the thing is, that's a lot of involvement. Good shot. Then you gotta make sure you don't weld the projectile to the rails, and you have external magnetic field, which provides magnetic field. But yeah, you can do that. All right. Um, I think